Okay, let's see where the option is for this. Alright, here we go. Connected, and let's get started. What is up, guys? I am Arya Magadam, and today we're going to be presenting one of my favorite uh, cartoon shows, characters. So we're going to be doing a character slideshow. 40 of them will be featured. There are a lot more than 40, though. But some of the 40 major ones. Here are a few of them. Well, uh, this is just uh, an analyzation of a few of my most favorite characters. So you have these guys. They're a couple. They're a couple. They're also this girl and this guy. Uh, I'll reveal their names in a few minutes. I bet you know who they are by the looks of their faces or their familiarities. They are a couple. This is the host. Uh, if you've seen this guy. His name will be revealed in a minute. These guys are besties. All right. Here we go. So here are some of the characters from the Total Drama series. Some are kind to others. Others are antagonistic. Can be manipulative at times. Some are good looking. And others can even have a mind of their own. As we have here in the background. Oops. Oh, whatever. It highlighted it. I didn't expect it to highlight, but whatever. So... There are five seasons of Total Drama, and each five seasons, there's a million-dollar prize. I think if I recall in Total Drama Islands, the million-dollar was like a tie, and then it went to action, and then somebody won. I think it was uh, that delinquent guy you just saw. He won the million dollars, and uh, World Tour, I kind of forgot who won. Maybe it was that Spanish guy. I know their names. I just don't want to make any too, too much spoilers or anything like that. Revenge of the Island, it was a smart, nerdy kid that won it. And All-Stars, I forgot actually who won that one. But I watched some of their episodes. All right, here we go with the characters. So, here we are with the first character. Now, judging by the background and the uh, colors of the borders of the, uh, of the number of the character, literally the word character and the number, I bet you guys can guess who this character is. So, uh, when you see this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if you guys know who the character is before I reveal it. So, who is this character? This is Chris McLean. Chris McLean. I hate this guy so much. He is just an idiot. He is an arrogant guy. And I, if you hate him, I like you. You are my best friend if you hate this guy. This guy is so stupid and so moronic. It's unbelievable. He's the main antagonist throughout the whole Total Drama series. He's the host of every single episode. He's a brutal narcissist and he's very sadistic. Like, he's like Donald Trump. He gives little concern to other people or contestants in this case. And he only cares about money, personal gain, and popularity, which is gained from the pain and suffering of his contestants. All he cares about is just if his show is good. Like, that's pretty much what he ultimately wants to succeed in. That, that, I mean, I don't know what the hell this is, but just they revealed this message to him. What an arrogant jerk. Yeah, f*** you, Chris. I hate you. Okay, so. Character 2. Can you guess who this is? He's one of my favorite characters. It is my guy, Duncan. It's my homie. He's that type of person with somewhat an antagonistic type, too. If I was to say who's my favorite villainous character, it has got to be Duncan. The Heathers, the Courtney's, the Justins are all in the Oblivion, or the Alejandros. They're all in the Oblivion. When it comes to talking about bad guys, when I hear this guy, 
this guy is my guy. I, he likes rock music. I, I like rock music too. And the thing is, I want to get his shirt too. Uh, I like him so much. I want to get his shirts from Amazon probably. I don't know. For a Halloween costume. It depends on what the occasion is. But I like his shirt too. He is that type of person with a brooding, obnoxious, sarcastic, and rather flirtatious personality. He flirted with Heather, Courtney, and just chicks in general. <laughs> He's a juvenile delinquent who can cause troubles at times by fooling the other contestants with pranks. And he breaks a lot of rules, definitely. He does have a good personality, though, that he doesn't like to reveal to anybody else. Now... Well, he has some moments where he does good, uh, he does, he wants to do bad things. He wants to, like, for instance, uh, sabotage his own teammates sometimes. Or, like, destroy a vehicle, for instance. One time he wanted to destroy Chef's Jeep he, and drive it into the water. And then the thing is, he, uh, he inadvertently fixed it for Chef Hatchets. And who's probably going to be our next character. He actually fixed it. And Duncan got so pissed off afterwards. Thinking that that was a bad thing. Even though that was a good thing. Which is pretty ironic. But eventually in that same episode. Uh, season 5. Total Drama All-Stars. Episode 8. That was the episode where he got eliminated. Because he blew up Chris's mansion. And Chris wept just because of his freaking stupid arrogance of his pictures i hate chris I, chris is gone i hate chris okay and yeah pretty much this guy blew up his mansion or cottage and he got arrested and he was no longer seen afterwards until we saw him in the jail with another person well he is a bad boy he's the definition of a bad boy definitely but i like him he's my guy I dab you up, Duncan. You're my homie. I like you. What do you want now? I just wanted to say that I'm sorry I scared you. I was not scared. It was completely circumstantial. And there is no such thing as a hook man. Yeah, you're probably right. Or are you? <laughs> She so doesn't hate me. Ugh. Character 3. I think I already told you who Character 3 is. It is the despicable Chef Hatchets. Well, I don't like this guy either. I mean, this guy is... Uh, he's an aggressive sidekick to Chris McLean. Who is his, literally his best friend. He's also a strong guy too. And he the fact that he's a chef. He, he also cooks stuff. But he does not cook very good. He cooks gruesome meals for the contestants. Who really hate the food. They despise it very much. When Chris is absent. He's always the host. For like the temporary host in a way. And yeah pretty much. Chef Hatchet. You're not one of my favorites. Uh, I don't like your short tempers or aggression. He always yells. I don't like his yelling. It's, it triggers me. So from Chef Hatchet, we go to Character 4. So Character 4. This character will appear on the left side this time instead of the right side. Character 4 is... Courtney. It is Courtney. And this girl, she is an antagonist if I've ever seen. She may be a thick and, I guess you could say, pretty girl in a way, but I, I hate her. I hate her so much. She's so ridiculous and bossy, and she's a bird brain. She has a polarizing personality, but she always considers herself as a born leader. And this often leads to, like, not letting others to have, have a chance at, like, taking control. She's very bossy, competitive, critical, and even manipulative at times, such as other antagonists. She can also be very polite and genuinely civil to her fellow competitors, though. But, like, the thing is, uh, this, this girl right here, uh, she has boyfriends but broke up with them. So, Duncan went away, and Scott went away, and then, yeah, there you go. That's the story. 
Courtney's just a depressed girl, and she's always a short-tempered uh, gal. And the thing is, she does not like fun. Like, she's not like those good guys like that always wants to have a good time. She wants comp competition. She always thinks the word total drama means competition. Like, man, I feel like Courtney should be a bit more, like, uh, humble with the others instead of just being so tough on them. Like, come on, Courtney. That's why I, I can flip you off, too. So, from Courtney, we go to Character 5. Can you guess who Character 5 is? She will also appear on the left. Character 5 is... Beth. This is Beth. She's a girl with a naive culture. She was born and raised on a farm with animals and her parents to keep her company. Like, the fact that she was born and raised on a farm, she has never developed any proper social skills. Her best friend, she states one time, is her pet pig, Bertha. But she can also be a very dependent person. She's a very nice, uh, intelligent person. And she, uh, she's like that person that wants to get along with others. So, like, she wants everyone to like her. And she was also in the, t uh, in the final two in Total Drama Action, I believe, with Duncan, that delinquent guy I mentioned earlier. And her naive way, I, uh, <clears throat> her naive ways actually can make an, her an ideal target for antagonists like Courtney, Heather, or even the handsome guy Justin. Now, Beth, she's one of the more underrated characters, but she she should be overrated. Honestly, I like her. She she's a very nice and well mannered competitor. From Beth, we go to. Character 6. Character 6 is probably one of my favorites. Can you guess who he is? He's a very charming guy. Owen! This is my homie, Owen! He's a very nice, friendly, passionate, and optimistic uh, competitor in Total Drama. And he wants to make friends. He's a very friendly guy, and he just wants to have a good time. And he's a hugger. He is a hugger if I've ever seen. And he definitely looks like one of those guys who you'd love to hug back but he hugs kind of too tight sometimes <laughs> he just wants to have a good time he doesn't worry about the prize or anything the million dollars he's friends with chris too and i hate that asshole chris he's such an idiot sorry i had to cuss i hate chris i hate chris oh, i'm sorry okay and he's such a sadistic host he always loves food and to pass a large amount of gas he farts a lot <laughs> he's so funny when he farts <laughs> I'm dying, bro. <laughs> when he farts, <laughs> but most significantly, uh, but most significantly to have a good time, definitely. One time he farted the ABCs. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> I can't remember which episode though, but he farted the ABCs one time. <laughs> I think so. Or he burped it. No, he burped it. He was about to fart the ABCs, and then everyone said no. <laughs> Man, you're my guy. I like you. You're my friend, Owen. Owen is amazing. From the charming Owen, we go to character 7. Character 7 is one that's seen in only two seasons, I believe. Uh, Total Drama all uh, I think, no, not All-Stars. Island and Action. Total Drama Island and Total Drama Action. It is Lashana. This is Lashana. She is a kind and caring, but it, sometimes she can be someone's worst enemy. Depending on who it can be. It could be Harold. It could be Duncan. It could be Courtney. It could be definitely Heather. They have a rivalry with each other. She can really be irascible, especially towards antagonists like Heather or Alejandro. It can form such insults. She's an insulter. I mean, I, I have a neutralization for you. Uh, you're not one of my most favorites, but I actually kind of like you. You're a good person, in my opinion. She can also be quite talented and skillful in certain challenges. For instance, she loves to dance, but even though so, so many people don't like seeing her dance. She's also one of those competitors that like uses street smart language to her fellow contestants. 
like she says nicknames such as baby, honey, or sugar baby, sugar. <laughs> and yeah, she is not the not the worst, but she is a very good competitor in my opinion too. Doki. So from Lashana, we go to character eight. Probably everyone's favorite character. Can you guess who she is? She'll appear on the right. Gwen! It is Gwen. Gwen, she's a goth girl with a passion for art and astronomy. When she was first introduced in that first season, Total Drama Island, she was first seen with a harsh and sarcastic attitude. And she didn't like her new home, the Camp Wawanaqua, I think. Yeah, that's what it's called. She didn't get along very well with the other contestants, but on the inside, she's one of those girls with a very smart, independent, and kind personality. And because of this, she can actually be considered as one of the protagonists. Like, she, she's cool. I like her. Uh, I, I like showing respect to her. And I feel bad that she got put on the villains team in Total Drama All-Stars. She didn't deserve villains. And Courtney did not deserve heroes. Courtney should deserve villains. I hate that B word so much. I'll take the point! Okay, let's not get too crazy here. I've got point! Look, I'm a very experienced swimmer. I was a synchro captain! I coach minnows! I am a CIT! More like a B-I-T-C. Guys, let's get going. I'm okay. I just have to float here long enough to lose. Then they come back and save me. That B word can go... Nah, whatever. Okay, Gwen definitely is one of my favorite characters. I like you, Gwen. You're, you're pretty cool. And I like your passion for art and astronomy, too. Those are pretty interesting. Those are pretty interesting topics. All right. From Gwen, we go to the ninth character. The ninth character. Here we go. Character nine is... Can you guess who he is? He is a flirtatious guy, too. Cody! It is Cody! Cody, of course. That guy who wants to think he's the cool guy. He's a tech-savvy geek who always sees himself as a ladies' man instead of a nerd. He can be one of those guys, like as I said. He can be the cool guy, but it's rather infamous in other opinions of the other contestants. He can act like a pervert sometimes. <laughs> that's that's a fact. He, he likes flirting with Gwen, and Sierra has a crush on Sierra, this girl... Uh, who was introduced in Toll Drama World Tour, I believe. She has a crush on Cody. And Cody sometimes kind of doesn't like it too much, but they're friends. They're definitely friends. Biographies show that Cody is also very intelligent, though. When those perverted thoughts aren't in his mind, he shows some such intelligence and cleverness in some of the episodes in the first season. Like, he is a very good competitor, too. He may not be... Well, actually, yeah, he is pretty smart, too. He got to the final uh, uh, two, I think. I think it was World Tour. or He went up against Alejandro, and he was on the verge of winning. I think Alejandro beat him in uh, the alternate, not the alternate version, the original version, and Cody won the alternate. I'm not sure exactly. You guys, I, I think you guys can check it out yourself in the World Tour finale. But Cody, you're my guy, bro. What's good, Cody? I, I wish I could say hi to you in person, bro. I mean, nope, you're a cartoon character. I can't. I like you, Cody. You're cool. All right, so that's Cody, my boy Cody. We go to character 10. This guy is everyone's favorite. He is my favorite. If there was a tier list, I might do a tier list video of all the Total Drama characters that I present in this presentation. I would put this guy in a Living Legend spot. This is Jeff. This is my homie, Jeff. He's a very positive attitude guy, and I always like getting motivated by him. He never puts any of his fellow contestants down. He's a very kind-hearted fellow and loves getting along with the others, even Chris. Even if, they don't, even if they don't get along with him, he goes along with them nicely and always wants to bring positive vibes. 
he's well known for his party vibes. Like he loves to party. He loves having parties. He has a very he, has, he does have a habit though of addressing everyone dude or bro or bra like me. I actually have that habit too. He may not be the smartest contestant, but he is also one happy gentleman. No wonder why Bridget and Jeff have never broken up before. Bridget is this one. Character 11. Character 11 is Bridget. They're next door to each other. Now, Bridget, she got along with Jeff in the beginning of Total Drama Islands, and they never broke up. Uh, they had some conflicts uh, a few times when Jeff was... Jeff was actually acting so stupid and arrogant in where he like wanted to become a host. He let his arrogance took over and just wanted fame instead of uh, companionism, if you want to say, friendship for others. But Jeff's true nature is a friendly one, so that's why Jeff is one of my favorites. This, this, uh, despite that he can, has those traits of having arrogance. Okay, Bridget, she's a humble, cool, calm, and kind-hearted surfer girl who loves discovering wildlife as much as she loves the water. She's an aquatic girl, and she has a very uh, good experience with the water. She loves to surf. She's a very good surfer. As much as, her, as much as her aquatic aptitude, she's known for her clumsiness on land. And definitely, it shows in one of the episodes on Total Drama Island, I believe. In a talent show episode, she stumbled and broke uh, Courtney's instrument that she want. Like, Courtney wanted to perform an instrument, I think it was a violin, for the talent show. Bridget broke it when she was trying to do a handstand for 20 minutes. And she stumbled and fell. And the uh, rope tied onto her sandal and then uh, pretty much ultimately just wreckage. And she has had some embarrassing moments too. Like, oh boy, I can't even explain this one. It, it was at the talent show in front of people, in front of her good fellow contestants. Uh, she puked. She burped at first, and then she puked just because she ate a bag of chips. She was doing the handstand thing, that's why. When you do a handstand and you eat a bag of chips, I mean, you, you're going to puke. She puked on everyone. Well, mostly everyone. Man, Bridget felt bad afterwards. Tough one for you, but you are still one amazing human being. She loves spending time with her true boyfriend, Jeff, who is a very kind-hearted gentleman. And sometimes she gets pissed off when Jeff acts arrogant on show. And I think when he becomes host, when Jeff wants to become a host of a show, he acts arrogant. And I don't like it either. Bridget is amazing. She's friends with Courtney. However, despite the uh, wreckage of her instrument in that one episode. And pretty much she is very kind. And I like you. You are a living legend too, in my opinion. Okay, so from Bridget, we go to our 12th character. A red and blue involved in this one. Character 12. This character will appear on the left once again. She is Lindsay. This is Lindsay. He's pretty. He's a good competitor with a big heart. And she's very notable by the other competitors. She does have a naive culture, though. She has a lack of intelligence. Like, she forgets names of people. Including her boyfriend, Tyler, who is one of my most favorite characters. He's my number one favorite character out of all the Total Drama series. She's that one person that doesn't want to be an underdog or underestimated. And she always wants to make a difference. Like, she always wants to be that person that can make something happen. Like, just an unfortunate factor of Lindsay, though. Because of her naive and gullible nature, she can easily be manipulated by other antagonists or evil people, such as Heather or maybe Justin. But overall, I can say this girl is very decent and positive, and she's a like for me.
from the pretty Lindsay, we go to our 13th character. And this guy is, if you can guess who he is, Justin. This is Justin. He's a pure beauty type supermodel. He's a good looking guy uh, to like other cartoon characters. I don't think he's good looking in my opinion. And he can make any girl, any guy, or even an animal such as sharks stop in their tracks and stare at him. Now, don't judge by his good looks, though. He is not the best. His personality sucks. He's very vain and manipulative. He uses his good looks for like his own personal gain. And even he's a bit le he's a bit lazy too. He makes excuses for like tasks that require him to like mess up his good clean look, such as like going underground and digging for treasure or something like that. Despite all his negative traits, he tends to show friendliness to most of the others. I mean, I'm okay with Justin. He's not one of my favorite characters. He's a, a bodybuilder, in my opinion. I think of this as the Chris Hemsworth in Canadian culture. <laughs> Just by thinking about bodybuilders that come into my mind. Or an Arnold Schwarzenegger. Definitely one of those guys that can impress another girl. But not to me. From this supermodel Justin, we go to our 14th character. Character 14. I like the font of this one. This has a cool font, meaning he's a cool character. It's a he. He will appear on our right, or I think on the right. Yeah, I think he appears on the right. He is one of my favorites. This is Harold. This is Harold. He's a cool, skinny, and somewhat awkward looking young man. Who can often be disrespected by his other fellow contestants, such as Duncan. You know, Duncan liked what he did in Dodgeball. Harold was amazing in a Dodgeball game. In that episode after they did that epic sleep contest. I think that was that one in Total Drama Island. But what this guy brings is pure talent. As I mentioned, he's very good at Dodgeball. He's very good at uh, beatboxing, rapping, and keyboarding, and all those stuff. And he can be very clutch into winning challenges, too. He's very confident, intelligent, and he can also detect any false information given by other contestants or even Chris and correcting them without hesitation. And as I mentioned, he has a great passion for music. Like, he loves beatboxing. In the talent show, he did a beatbox, and it was amazing. It was outstanding. It was just remarkable. Chef Hatchet gave him a 10 or a 9 on his uh, 9 out of 10 scale, I think. And he was the best out of everyone in the talent show. I like Harold. He is one of my favorite characters. I'd put him in a like position if I was to make a tier list, which I might in the future. So from the cool guy Harold, we go to our 15th character. Character 15. I bet you will know who this is once she appears. She is a very manipulative human being. She's a long-legged girl. And she has a nice sense of fashion, in my opinion. This is... Heather. This is Heather. The primary antagonist throughout the entire Total Drama series. She appears a lot in all the seasons. She appears in action. She appears in world tour. She appears in... All stars. She appears in so many seasons, and of course, she appears in Island for sure. She's well known for her manipulation skills and focuses only on her primary goal, the million dollars, and never caring about others at all. Almost every contestant despises Heather's despicable acts, like me. I would despise your acts, Heather. I hate you with a passion. I don't care about your pretty, your pretty looks, your long legs, your feet, whatever you, whatever you can name. I hate you. I hate you with a passion for what you do to all the other guys. Even when she really believes she can be the good guy, it's still very obvious. She's just that type of person that has no passion for anyone or anybody. Her boyfriend, Alejandro, who's another antagonist, he also cares about succeeding. They both, I think, shared the million dollars in the world tour when they won it, I think. And then, unfortunately, someone stole it. I believe it was Ezekiel. A guy named Ezekiel. Heather is a dislike for me. Oh, let's get that over with.
Now we go from Heather to the 16th character. This is one girl that I wish she appeared more often in uh, other seasons. She only appears in two seasons. All Star, no, not All Stars. Um, I think she appears in World Tour. I'm not sure, but let's bring out the character to, to see who, who even she is. Who she even is? It is Izzy. Izzy. She. She's your type of. She's your type of contestant. She's a very funny, slightly clumsy, and entertaining contestant in the Total Drama series. She's quite daring. Like she could fight a bear. She could fight other. She can fight anybody. She can fight animals, chef hatchets, too. And she's very athletic, too. She she has a lot of gymnastic skills, too. In some very situations, she enjoys plotting bizarre solutions. Despite the strange ways that she shows it, she doesn't even care about what the others think and means well, even if her results don't even reflect it. This girl, she's a unique one. She's one of the more underrated characters, in my opinion, but she may be overrated to you guys. But I feel like this girl is probably one of my favorites too. Because she has a nice personality in my opinion. And she may be like one of those girls that kind of puts others down. But I mean, maybe the bad guy's down. But like honestly, she she's caring and all that. And she's protective of others. Izzy, you're one of my favorites. I'd like to say that to you. Nothing I can say too much about you. But that's you. All right, later, Izzy, we go to our 17th. The 17th. Now, this font here, this font is actually my name. We'll check We'll check it out in a few minutes. It's actually my name. Uh, this font is actually inspired by my name. It's called Aria. The font is called Aria. I don't know why, but, like, it's pretty cool. I just like to use it for this one. Character 17 is... DJ. This is DJ. Well, he's a friendly guy, too. He He's a teddy. He's like one of those guys that can be called the teddy bear. He's very intimidating because of his large size. Like, he's the tallest guy out of anybody. And his true identity is a very compassionate one. He's a soft-spoken and sensitive guy, but he always wants to be the best out of everyone. Like, he values the safety of his fellow contestants rather than winning the challenges. His compassion towards the others make him one of the more notable participants among the cast. So, like, this guy here, I mean, I'd hug him, too. He, he's one of my favorites. Uh, he's very nice and very friendly and doesn't like any villains putting him down, definitely. And I like his cool shirt. It literally references a D <laughs> to represent DJ. I think he, that's not his true name, but that's his initials. But I call him DJ. When he's uh, in Total Drama Rama, he has a lowercase d shirt. Pretty cool, right? DJ, I'd dab you up too. Great guy. Oh, yeah, and just to remind you, this is the Arya font. See, look, there's my name. Arya. Interesting how Google found a way to uh, inspire me with this font. I used it for DJX since I used unique fonts for each of the characters. Either way, that's that. So long, DJ. Back in full screen mode, ready to change the slide from 17 to 18. 18 is probably one of my other favorites. He's a cool guy. He's the definition of a cool guy. And he's a very smart guy, too. He's, he's like one of those Harvard graduates, in my opinion. This is Trent. This is Trent. He's a humble, cool, relaxed, and laid-back nice guy who loves to get along with everyone, even with that despicable host. I hate him so much. Chris McClain. He's also very intelligent, and as I told you, he's a straight-A student, probably went to Harvard. And he's known for his amazing guitar skills. I like guitar, not gonna lie. Like, rock is my favorite genre, and I show respect to this guy. And it impresses a few of the other folks. Uh, if I was one of the folks there, I would be impressed too. I'd dab him up. <laughs> 
He can be also considered as a ladies' man too, having dated two girls in the past and probably many others, such as Gwen, such as maybe Katie or someone else. Depends on who that girl is, but most, most notably Gwen. In general, he is another nice, friendly, and decent contestant. Trent, you're one of my favorites too. I like to show respect to this guy too. That's Trent. So from the smart Trent, from the cool Trent, we go to our 19th. The 19th could probably be someone's favorite or someone's worst enemy. He's my worst enemy. Character 19 is a Spaniard who moved to Canada. And his name is Alejandro. Alejandro. He is a contestant who was born in Spain, but he moved to Canada, as I told you. And he's fluent in his native language. He may seem to be a polite and charming gentleman. He's good looking too. But I, I don't like his looks either. Like Justin, he's also an antagonist. His inner values are dark and pathetic. As I said, he's an antagonist. He's very manipulative, deceitful, and tricky when it comes to the challenges he and his other contestants face. And it comes to no surprise that one villain like him would choose another villain like Heather for an official relationship. They shared the million dollars in... Total Drama World Tour, and then someone stole it. I think it was Ezekiel. Probably was him. And then it went away forever. I don't know what happened to them. Man, I hate Alejandro so much. He is such a cunning guy. Like, he's that type of person that would think he's the nice guy. And then he just says, Au revoir. No, not au revoir. I'm so stupid. Adios, mi non. Oh, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. Adios, non amigos. Yeah, you puto. I hate you, bro. I hate you. Sorry, I had to say that. But yeah, Alejandro, you are just that type of person that just want to piss me off. That's Alejandro. If I was to say this guy is just stupid, I mean, he is stupid. One time, I remember, he literally betrayed Cameron in World, uh, All Stars, actually, when uh, he was about to, like, save him. Cameron said, I mean, I mean, Cameron said he was waiting for somebody. It was Mike, a.k.a. Mal at the time, being, and then Alejandro left him. Like, come on, you could have at least saved him, you idiots. I wonder why this guy is such a malo person. He is so mucho malo. Definitely. Adios, Alejandro. I don't give a f about you. We go to our 20th character. And she appears in... Uh, at the start of Revenge of the Island. She appears uh, first. She debuts in Revenge of the Island. Her name is Dakota. Now, Dakota, she's a daughter of a very wealthy man. She's very fame-hungry and, at times, selfish when it comes to making friends. But, I mean, when it comes to her, she's very kind and well-mannered to her fellow contestants, even when she does have a spoiled attitude. Like, I'm okay with Dakota because the fact that she's a nice person, I mean, I don't have any bad feelings for her. When Sam, eventual boyfriend of Dakota, Discover what type of personality Dakota has after an awkward conversation in one of the episodes of Revenge of the Island. Sam found out that her true colors are someone sweeter and with more heart than her parents. You may think that she's like Chris, and she hates Chris, where they only care about fame and just basically money. But she cares about people, and I like her for that. She's a very nice blonde girl. Who eventually becomes a, a Godzilla, a Dakota Zoid, after she gets mutated by something. And Sam actually likes it when she was mutated. So Sam says, You look cooler than ever. And that's indeed our next character. Speaking of Sam, this is Sam, character 21. He's a video gamer. He's that type of person who would love the video game on his game guy. It's called his game guy. 
And because of his attachments to the video games, his physical strength is lacking. And he's possibly the slowest contestant out of the second generation, like of the Revenge of the Island contestants. He's also, however, a very kind and optimistic guy, just like Dakota, and always wants to get along with his fellow teammates and help them win, even if he doesn't get the best of luck. He sometimes hallucinates, though, in real life when he's deprived of games. Like one time when he wanted to get to the top where Lindsay was in one of the episodes, he was hallucinating and thinking it was a Donkey Kong game. Like, those Donkey Kong games were like they throw barrels, so you jump over the barrels. Lindsay was throwing barrels obstacles towards Sam's direction and then Sam literally thought of it as a Donkey Kong game and then jumped over the barrels but he couldn't get to the top but he was so close I kind of forgot what episode name that was but you can check it out for yourself it's pretty cool pretty cool scene I remember watching that it was fun oh so that's Sam Okay, so we go from Sam, character 21, to our 22nd character. Our 22nd character is one of my favorites. My most favorite character. Can you guess who he is? He's very athletic, as to his opinion. And he is most definitely seen in the first season of Total Drama. His name is Tyler, my boy Tyler. He's a sports fan, and he's he's literally athletic himself, He his label being called the jock. He's very uncoordinated, though, and clumsy, which constantly puts him and the others at risk. He's so funny. <laughs> That's why I like him. He's so hilarious, the way he, like, yells and all that. He's funny, man. He's also very dim and sensitive, and he can also take things literally. Like, one time... In a particular episode, Noah told him that you had to write this thought down that Lindsay just told you. And Tyler took it too literally and said, I don't have a pen to write that down. <laughs> Meaning he should have just pictured it into his mind. He also really feels betrayed and hurt when Lindsay actually forgets his name. Lindsay and Tyler are a true relationship. They're true lovers. But despite his shortcomings, he's a very well-meaning, de decent, enjoyable, and extremely determined contestant. That's why I like Tyler. He's a nice guy. And he's, he's good-looking, too. Something unique about him, he has abnormally strong fingers. I heard one time he said in a confessional stand, he can bench press 80 pounds. Wow. Interesting. That's my guy, Tyler. I'll dab you up, bro. You're my true bro. Okie dokie, that's Ty. I don't see well underwater. I guess it's a trade-off for my super strong fingers. This one can bench press 80 pounds. From one of my favorite characters, character 22, Tyler, we go to our 23rd character. Is this arrow now working? Alright, there we go. Our 23rd character, she's a tough one. She has a very short temper, and I bet you'll know who she is. This is Eva. This is Eva. Oh, man. She is one of my least favorites. Even though I sometimes feel like an Eva whenever I get upset, too. She's a very competitive and physically strong and athletic contestant. But she's well known for her rages and overly aggressive behavior. As I said, she's short-tempered and she always wants to go after Chris, who is very despicable towards uh, his fellow contestants. Because of her anger issues, basically, she got eliminated from the first season quite early. Only in the second episode from Total Drama Island. And did not qualify for next season. Action. She has made some friends after her elimination. Noah and Izzy, I think. Maybe it was Izzy, I don't know. It was Noah and one other person. And afterwards, she even took uh, enrollments in anger management classes. But, yeah, she didn't make very friends. She didn't make many friends. Uh, she's just not a happy person. 
Uh, I just don't like her at all. Like, she's probably like a living nuisance or a dislike, in my opinion. So that's Eva. From the pissed off Eva, we head on to our 24th. The 24th character is probably one of my most female, like my most favorite female characters out of all the total drama characters. She's one of my most favorite females. Her name and her characteristics feature this. So, this is Zoe. Oh man, she is a bodacious girl with a kind heart. An only child born that was that was initially born in a small town. She's a very kind-hearted, optimistic, attractive, and even courageous young girl. Sometimes known as Commando Zoe when she uh when she changed from being her regular Zoe self uh in the late episodes of Revenge of the Island, if I remember. Her personality completely changed once uh I think Mike got eliminated. And then definitely that really pissed her off. But she in general is very, very kind. And she always wants to make friends. She's very easily friendly. And unfortunately, she doesn't have very many friends. I wish she does. I'd be her friend too. She shows a lot of sympathy towards her fellow contestants. But sometimes her trusting nature can lead to her being fooled by a few bad intentions. Like such as Scott. Joe, or that bad B, Courtney. She also has a boyfriend, as I said, Mike. Zoe and Mike, they're forever a relationship. And Mike has alternates slash different personalities. And Zoe only likes Mike just the way he is, not Svetlana or Chester or Manitoba or Vito or the despicable Mal. Mal is the one guy that wanted to put down Mike and ruin his life. And definitely, Zoe likes Mike the way he is. And Zoe is a very kind-hearted girl. I, I like you, Zoe. Just as I like this 25th character. The 25th character is Zoe's boyfriend, indeed. Mike. He's a very nice guy. A well-meaning a well meaning teenager with a girlfriend, Zoe, as I just said. Whom he cares about the most out of anybody out of all the others. Unfortunately for him, as I said, he isn't himself all the time as he suffers from a multiple personality disorder. He didn't want to reveal it to anybody else at first. He actually shows deep care for his alternate personalities, even his troublesome ones like, of course, evil Mal. Nobody likes Mal. Not even himself, Mike. Mike's own demeanor is a very kind, cheerful, and upbeat type personality. But sometimes he can be awkward and hesitant. But overall, he, he's that type of person that would give you good vibes. He's an action movie fan and loves sports such as ultimate kickboxing. Now his, bi his biography also says that he can also be a philanthropist and volunteer to help other young people. That's nice of him. I like Mike. Mike is a nice name in general. I like the name Mike. Well, goes good with good people, definitely. All right, that's Zoe and Mike. We go from our 25th character, Mike, to our 26th character. Character 26 initially appears in Season 1, Total Drama Island. And she never is separable by another girl. And they're together all the time. I bet you'll know who it is. This is Sadie. One of the twins. Katie's best friend. Of course, they do everything together. They wear the same exact outfits. Katie sold them herself. Now, just like her best friend, Sadie. Now, just like her best friend, Katie. Oh, I'm so ridiculous right now. Okay. <clears throat> just like her best friend, Katie. Sadie's a very kind, cheerful, sensitive, and sweet-natured girl. Now, she cries whenever she feels upset or whenever she's separated from Katie and lashes back at those who anger her, basically. She never wants to separate from Katie. They're like the BFFs, even though they've had their ups and downs. She's also boy-crazy, too, whenever, 
whenever they see like an attractive guy, they will really think about that him endlessly, Katie and Sadie, such as the handsome Justin. Of course, we know Justin, you don't know his true nature, but of course, when you look at him from the outside, he looks good looking in a way. According to her biography, it states that she thinks with her head and Katie thinks with her hearts. So they do have something different in a way, but they definitely have a lot of similarities. Which brings us to our 27th character. I bet you know who this is. I switched the colors around for a reason. The colors of the text and the background. This is the leggy Katie. She's a long-legged, sweet, kind-hearted, cheerful, and sensitive girl. Just like her best friend, Sadie. Now, they always stick together. No doubt about it. They have many commonalities. She sewed the clothing that she wears. And they both wear the same exact clothing. And just like Sadie, she goes boy crazy whenever she sees a handsome young man. Such as Justin or Trent or Alejandro. Uh, maybe not Alejandro, but definitely those two. And her biography also states that she thinks with her hearts, as I said earlier, unlike Sadie who thinks with her head. This idea brings the fact that Sadie can be more logical and Kate has more strong relationships. I like both of them. They're both two of one of my favorite characters. Two of my favorite characters. They are both amazing in my opinion. Katie and Sadie, I like to show support for you. You guys are the best. So that's Katie and Sadie, 26 and 27. So, oh, from the two twins, or maybe best friends, I should say, Sadie and Katie, we go to our 28th character. And now, finally, a he. Alright, uh, whatever. <laughs> so, 28th character. I would recall this guy being seen in Total Drama Island and getting eliminated very early, too. I don't like his personality, but he has a good, he has a good foreshadowing, in a way. He's a good... Demeanor. This is Noah. He's a lazy, pessimistic, and sarcastic contestant as to how we see him first in the first season. Told Drama Island, of course. Now this guy is very sarcastic. He wants to pretend like one time when he when his team was like playing dodgeball against one another, he wanted to pretend that he was actually watching and cheering for his team. And that's really dumb. The thing is, he was reading a book, and he he was, like, pretending to say, Go team! Yeah! Go team! And then he's just, like, not even watching it. Like, he's not even actually cheering for his team. He just doesn't even care. And his team eventually lost, and they, got, they all got mad at him, and he got eliminated. Worst of all, he got eliminated. As the Chris said, you may never return back to the island, ever. Man, that sucks. Now let's move on. He's extremely intelligent, but he finds physical activity as laughable, just like the dodgeball thing. As to what ridiculous as what ridiculous acts his peers do. He can have an attitude that can probably repel friendships, but he finds his best ally in Owen. They are technically best friends, no doubt about it. They're best friends, they always are close with one another. Even if he can be weak and lazy, he can certainly be the guy that can insult certain people, such as Alejandro, Duncan, Heather, or Courtney. Don't do it to my guy, Duncan. Come on, Noah. <laughs> Duncan's cool. The others are no cool. But yeah, that's Noah. I don't know much to say, but this guy has a weird personality that eventually changes as uh, his generation progresses throughout the seasons. Character 28 finished. Okay, so we go from Noah to our 29th character. And the 29th character, I hate so much. I hate, 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 hate character 29. 29th character is the worst character out of everyone in this slideshow. And this is Scott. He is a stupid guy. He's a devious and manipulative country boy that first appears in Total Drama Revenge of the Island. He's actually the main antagonist of the season, which makes it even worse. Chris should be that main antagonist. This guy is worse than Chris. Forget about him. This guy is so much worse. 
He loves telling others what to do, and he takes orders only from certain people. He's a lot different comparing to Heather. I'm okay with Heather. Her long legs and her bodacious looks honestly could be respected comparing to this idiot's. Heather tells people what to do, wants her team to win, and always wants the opposing team to suck so much. But however, Scott sabotages his own team and makes his teammates lose on purpose, so one of them can possibly get eliminated instead of him. As a result, he has no allies, all enemies. He is basically that guy who would just turn you around and just think you're the bad guy. And then this guy just is so manipulative. I, I don't even know what the hell this guy's mind is. It's just a small mind. He could probably be that guy who would just follow what a leader would say. And then a stupid leader. And then he just follow what that says. And then... Or maybe just do something else. I don't even know. Scott is just one of my least, 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 least favorite characters. He's much worse than a living nuisance. I, I think there should be such thing as living nuisance sense. Because of how much I hate him. Oh yeah, about Scott. He's also a shark scare. Like, he's scared of sharks. The shark named Fang always chases him. That's funny. I love that. I love laughing at you, Scott. Yeah, yeah. Alright, I'm done with you, bro. I'm done with you. 30th character. Finally, I'm done with that douchebag. Okay, character 30. This is one of my favorites from Revenge of the Island. He's a very tough, but very gentleman type guy. This is... Rick. He's an army guy who always likes showing his full support to his fellow superiors and saluting them. I like him. I like him for that. I wish he'd salute me too. He's a very uh, caring guy. He even compliments Chef Hatchet's disgusting meals. Owen does that too, in a way. Yeah, and he, of course, he shows a lot of respects towards the skilled players, especially to the ones that are on his team. He can be a tough guy, but he's also very sensitive. He pees his pants a lot when he's afraid. And he's very afraid of the dark. But overall, he is quite the competitor. His rival, Joe, despises him so much. And that really puts down Brick. Joe will be seen in a few minutes. But definitely Brick would be that guy who would impress someone else. I wish he appeared in All-Stars. Joe appears in All-Stars and Revenge of the Islands. He deserved All-Star, honestly. That's Brick. The Brick Man. From my guy Brick, we go to the 31st character. The 31st character isn't one of the best of competitors. As he is a very seldom type guy. And... He's, a, he's that type of person with a lack of social experience. Social skills, I would say. This is Ezekiel. This is Ezekiel. He's a naive country boy who's homeschooled at his farm. And as I said, he has poor social skills due to his lack of interaction with others. He often says or does things that rub people the wrong way, such as a gender thing he said when he first got eliminated in Total Drama Islands. He is the very first person that ever got eliminated in Total Drama entire series. This guy. This guy right here. And he initially has a belief where he thinks women are inferior than men. That was the belief. The gender thing. And also seems to value money over friendship. Which is ridiculously stupid. You should care about others than money. These are all beliefs that his parents told him and it did not come from him. So basically his parents are stupid. And evil in a way. He also flirts with some of the female contestants seen in Toll Drama Island, like Bridget, who we know Bridget hates Ezekiel, and On Maria. On Maria isn't a fan of Ezekiel either. And as I said, he he got eliminated the very first episode of Toll Drama Islands, and he was the very first contestant to ever get eliminated. And he does qualify for World Tour. But once again, he got voted off first. That's when his nature completely changed. And then there you go. He became a hideous, bald-headed, 
barefooted creature with no social skills and he just became a complete animal and he he just is a dangerous vile creature that would attack anybody any person in its way and he he's no longer a human being he's just a creature his life changed cuz he just cannot talk and he, he just has a small mind and just a difficult life for him and that's how life changes just because he got voted off first twice in two seasons Ezekiel's an unfortunate guy but he's our 31st character Let's see, five more dashes this way, and over this squiggle, I should be... From Mr. Ezekiel, we go to the 32nd character. Whoops, it lagged. It's all right. Okay, character 32. She's seen at the start of Total Drama Revenge of the Islands. And is only seen throughout that uh, season. And she never came back. And her elimination was an unfortunate one. She got sent off with a fake diamond. And apparently in a mining episode of Total Drama, Revenge of the Island. This is on Maria. She is that type of girl with the good looks. She's very cocky and sassy. She has a pure obsession with like her using her hairspray and spray tan. And she isn't afraid to use it towards her fellow contestants. If they even insult or make fun of her. Now, despite all of her obsessions with good looks, she isn't like the most villainous contestant. Even though she can be considered as a villain. Apparently, she is a part of Villain's Wiki. She does not want to seek to cause troubles like the others, like Scott. Of course, he wants to cause troubles. She's a very sociable person, according to her biography, of course. And, but she isn't the best when it comes to facing challenges with her teammates, as she's very materialistic and has limited mental strength. But she is willing to face those adversities that Chris McClain will bring. As long as it doesn't ruin her appearance, especially her hair. She always likes to keep her hair in a good, sh solid shape. She seems to be of Spanish descent or Mexican descent. I don't know. Alejandro definitely is Spanish. And I don't like that jerk either. Alejandro. That's how Jeff calls him <laughs> in one of the episodes. I like Jeff for saying that, honestly. That's on Maria. Thirty-two to thirty-three. This one has a cool gradient. Character thirty-three. So this gradient will inspire somebody who wears this shirt. And his famous catchphrase is "Sha lightning," something like that. He always says "Sha" with something. Definitely. This is lightning, not Lightning McQueen. Even though Cars is one of my favorite movies. If you want to call a Pixar movie being one of my uh, favorite series. Okay, we move on. Lightning. He's an ultra competitive jock who values winning over anything else. Which is why this is one of my least favorite competitors. Especially in Total Drama Revenge of the Island. He's a very vain and egotistical competitor. And he always refers to himself in third person. He always says, Lightning always wins. Lightning's gonna eat you alive. Oh, man. He's just stupid, too. He kisses his biceps ever so often, too. Like, I have biceps, too. I work out with weightlifts just like him. And I don't do that. Come on, man. He's very selfish, too. Like a selfishness similar to what Chick Hicks had from Disney Pixar Cars. As I just mentioned, <laughs> so coincidentally, Cars has a villain named Chick Hicks. He has a very similar selfishness to what he has. He always wants to win, and he always wants to injure the other players at times, too. 
Just like what Chick did to the King in his final race. He knocked him off the track and injured him badly. Thank God Lightning saved the day. He also has a lack of intelligence too. Zoe referred to him as a jellyfish brain. And jellyfish, you know, they have the smallest brains on the planet. He's very stubborn too. But on the bright side, he's very strong, athletic, and sporty, just like Eva. But I don't like judging by his athleticism. I like judging by his personality. And his personality is crap. So that's Lightning. So coincidentally, to also bring up, Lightning is the name of the protagonist in Cars. And Lightning is the name of this guy in Total Drama Revenge of the Island. Lightning's a hero in a way, you want to say. And this Lightning's a villain. And the thing is, this villain is just like Chick Hicks who encounters Lightning. So it's kind of similar in a way, if you want to say. Alright, there you go. Finally, we finished with Lightning. Now, on to the 34th character. A very... Um, plain background if i can say because she is a plain woman i don't like her character 34 it's a two-lettered word or name this is joe she's the definition of someone who loves competition and she's very unfriendly and cruel she is a very harsh personality and takes comp competition to the max of course she does and she always believes she's the strongest and that she deserves the million dollars. Not in my scenario, Joe. I would tell you, you'd basically be that person that just wants to be a dictator. Like she turns any regular situation, just like basically maybe, for instance, a debate over breakfast or something. Or like maybe recovering from an unexpected event. She turns it into a competition. That's pretty much it. And of course, she also sometimes believes that she's better than the others. And this often looks down upon her teammates. And this is just uh, the definition of a bad guy or woman. But other times, she just feels like she wants to find love and feel beautiful. Well, she's not even attractive either way. She's athletic too, just like Lightning. And Joe hates Lightning. And Joe hates Brick even more. Sometimes we can say that Brick and Joe get along but um, they're definitely like rivals of each other and Joe really does make a lot of fun of Brick and it's it's not cool Brick is one of my favorites from Total John Revenge of the Island it's just not cool doing that type of thing oh well, there you go that's Joe done with you she will be a living nuisance if I made it tier list Okay, so from Joe, we go to our 35th character. Also seen in Revenge of the Island is this 35th character. So, character 35. This is a pretty underrated person. But all I can say is this guy is definitely one of the more intelligent guys out of the squad in Revenge of the Island. And his nickname is Beverly, but we call him. B. The B. So, very little is known about him, a.k.a. Beverly. Because he hardly ever speaks. He's a silent human being. He has a lack of background information. And he usually isn't seen much throughout the total drama series. Only seen in Revenge of the Islands. He got eliminated pretty quickly, too. Now, one thing we should definitely know about him, as, as I said, he has such high intelligence. He has a big brain for everything. During the spin where when we see him before he gets eliminated, we see how creative and impressive he is with like things he creates to help his team, toxic rats, to help win challenges. But unfortunately, some things happen, like Scott sabotaging him, his ideas, and that ultimately led to B's downfall. Now, the exact reason why he never speaks is unknown, but one time before he gets catapulted away in the pult of shame, as Chris calls it, he opened his mouth and was about to speak, but then Chris launched launched him, and all we hear was his screaming. 
This indicates that he has no real problem with speech. He's just a quiet person. And his scream actually sounds deeper than I imagined, I would say. You can watch it for yourself, but definitely he's a very silent person and he has inability of talking sometimes. But all you can say, he's very smart. That's B. From B the Beast. Uh, you could call him that, honestly. That's what I made up. Be the Beast. We go to character 36. Now, this guy. This guy, he's probably one of the greater competitors. I I'd show him a lot of respect. He appears on our left side. This is a good friend of mine named Cameron. Oop, I forgot his clothing thing. Yeah, there you go. So Cameron, all I can say, this guy's a big brain too. He's a very smart boy, but he's uh, one of the weakest competitors. And that's because his overprotective mother kept him in a bubble, quote, quotes, all his life. He kind of relates to Cody in a way who we know is also very smart and he's a tech savvy. But has had his ups and downs with competitions too. In fact, a girl named Sierra, who we'll see in a few minutes, now has an obsession over Cameron. She originally had a crush on Cody, and she still does. But she's mistaken for him being Cody. <laughs> it's Sierra, I mean, she loves Cody so much. And Cameron was mistaken. <laughs> in general, Cameron is a, well, is a very well-mannered and positive contestant who made it to the final round against Lightning in Revenge of the Island and helped the finalists in All-Stars, helped out Zoe and Mike. And Cameron really, really found out what Mike needed help with. Like, uh, Mal was about to take over Mike's mind, and Cameron definitely gave him assistance. Cameron's a worthy opponent, but... <laughs> There's something funny that came to my mind. I remember watching a confessional stand where Cameron was weighing himself. And he put a doll on one side of the scale and Cameron was on the left side of the scale. The doll weighs more than him. <laughs> the doll actually weighed more than him. That's so bewildering and astonishing in a way. This tells you he, he can't be weak, but he has a big brain of knowledge. And... Just like what Lightning McQueen did in Disney Pixar Cars. He helped out his uh, com uh, his fellow competitors and friends. Just like in a way you'd help the king after he gets injured. And man, he, he's a worthy opponent to have. Lightning just only cared about winning. So he didn't even bother helping save his friends from the toxic mutant mutated animals. Those are violent animals. And Cameron was the hero. And he won the million dollars in the alternate lightning one. There you go. That's my boy Cameron. Wow. You've become very strong, too. Meh. It was like lifting a doll. I weigh more than a doll. Oh. From character 36, Cameron, we go to the 37th character. Now, character 37, she is one character that slips out of your mind pretty easily. She's super duper underrated. She's only seen in the very first time she ever gets debuted, and she's the very first person to ever get eliminated. This is Stacy. As I said, she's a very underrated total drama contestant. She only appears in Revenge of the Island where she debuts and is the first person ever to get eliminated. She's a very talkative contestant, who, which can be annoying at a certain extent, but she seems to be good she seems to be of good nature in a way, even though her constant talking is like about unreal, unrealistic things. Her nickname being called the liar or something. I, I can't remember. It's had something to do with lying. 
And, of course, she wants to lie about them to impress and be accepted by her fellow contestants. There's nothing much to say because she's so unknown and little is known about her. But she does lose her hair when she tries the toxic marshmallow. <laughs> when she gets eliminated, she loses her hair. Nope, not much I can say about Stacy. Probably the shortest character talking I've ever done. Character 37 is finished just like that. From the underrated character 37, Stacy, our 38th will come. Fun fact, 38 is one of my favorite numbers. Meaning, she's a good character. She'll appear on her left. This is... Oh, let me say some things before I actually reveal her. She appears in World Tour first, and then she appears in All Stars. And I think in Action, I can't remember exactly, but definitely World Tour. This is... Sierra! She's a leggy, good-natured girl with a huge obsession to social media. I'm kind of the opposite, but I have social media. She makes blogs dedicated to every member of the cast, making her t making her Total Drama's biggest fan. It's pretty cool. Cody's her favorite contestant out of everyone, and Crush, too. And even adores the stupid, pathetic host, Chris McClain. But this friendship didn't last long, as we know how Chris can be to those contestants. Of course, Chris the Maniac McLean. She loves using internet slang acronyms too when she like converses with the others, such as LOL or OMG, laugh out loud, oh my god. She's generally very polite, enthusiastic, and easygoing. She's nice. She's a nice, she's a nice girl. But she can be psychotic and aggressive at times, especially when Cody's threatened by another girl. Gwen, possibly. Gwen and Sierra don't get along pretty well. Cause Gwen or Cody used to have a crush on Gwen, and now Gwen shows respect to Cody. But I like Sierra. She's one of my favorite characters. That's the character 38, Sierra. From the long-legged social media star Sierra, our 39th is coming. Character 39. She appears only in Revenge of the Island, and I think she got eliminated soon, too. I'm not sure. But she's a very, very nice and polite girl. This is Dawn. This is the Dawn. She's a mysterious nature level, nature lover whose goal is to win the million dollars to help Mother Earth. And that's very nice of her. She's able to communicate to animals, either mutated or not, and they take a strong liking to her. And she's frequently seen meditating, and is commonly known for having an ability to read people's auras. It's, that's pretty fascinating. And also predict their futures, such as a downfall of a person, or what good thing might actually happen. Despite her possible creepiness to the others, she's a very kind-hearted and very helpful young girl, as I said. And yeah, I think she's pretty too. She's kind of like Gwen in a way. Like, they're both kind of mysterious looking, but they're both very heroic and kind contestants. I both like, I, I definitely like Dawn and Gwen. So they're both great characters to have. Too bad they don't meet each other. But that's Dawn. That was a short one too. So, oh, one more character to go, and I think we're pretty much done. Got a few more things to do, though, afterwards, but definitely we're getting close to the end. Character 40. She's a host and an antagonist. Now, we reached the final character. But there's more characters to come. There's a lot more characters than these 40 that I've just showed you and presented. But these are the major ones that I've covered. Character 40 appears in World Tour, I believe, and Celebrity Manhunts. I bet you'll know who she is after I mention them, after I mention those hints. Character 40 is 
Mildred Blainley Stacy Andrews O'Halloran, aka Blainley. So she used to be for celebrity manhunts. She's a host. And she's a very, like, you know, fame hungry type host. She's gossipy too. She then appears in Total Drama World Tour Aftermath, where her true nature appears. She usually goes into topics that lead to a potential scandal at times too. At first, when she's first seen in Celebrity Manhunt's Total Drama Action Reunion special, she starts off as a nice, friendly, and enthusiastic host. But as I said, her true colors are later revealed when she hosts the World Tour Aftermath with Jeff and Bridget, wherein she is conceited, mean, and will do whatever it takes to remain in the spotlights. She can be nice, too, in a way. She's nice to Owen and a few others. And we know Owen, he's a gentleman. He's a very nice guy. And, well, Blaine is just not one of my favorites, though. She looks evil in a way, too. I would have to say, like, yeah, I'd put her at a hate if I was to make a tier list. I'm not too much of a fan of Blaine Lee, honestly. But that's the last character of this slideshow. Character 40. Now, we go to the next section. Time for a total drama pop quiz. Let's see if you guys can remember a few things that I said in the presentation in 10 questions. Here we go. Let's play some music with it too. Question one. Who is the host of all the episodes in the Total Drama series? Is it A. Chef Hatchet B. Jeff D. Chris Or D. Bridget And the answer is... Chris That one's an easy one, of course. Who knows? Who doesn't know that Chris is the host of all the episodes? Question 2 Who was the first ever contestant ever get eliminated in the entire series? Is it A. Ezekiel B. F C. Putin or D. When? And the answer is. Ezekiel. Yep. He's a bummed guy. He deserves a lot more respect. And he just turned into an animal after he got eliminated twice in two seasons. World Tour, but first of all, Islands. Question 3. Who was the 22nd character in my PowerPoint? Was it A. Lindsay? B. E, Tyler? C. Izzy? Or D. E, J? The answer is. B. E, Tyler. Yep, my guy Tyler was character 22. Question 4 Which character out of these four is known to have a very positive attitude? Is it A. Courtney B. Heather C. Eva Or D. Jeff And the answer is Jeff B. Yeah, this guy is well known for having a party. He always wants to have a good time. Definitely a positive attitude guy. Question 5. Now, how many seasons of Total Drama are there? A. 5. B. 3. C. 4. Or D. 6. 
there are five season in total drama. And I think I showed them to you at the start of the video. Question six. Who was the 36th character in my PowerPoints? Was it A on B Zoe C the Leggy Sierra or D Cameron and 36th character in my PowerPoint was Cameron Question 7. Now oh, this is a tricky one. Who was one of the Total Drama All-Star characters that floated away in a balloon and never came back? Now no worries, their balloons eventually popped and they landed safely in the water. Now who was one of them out of these four? Was it A. Gwen B. My guy Duncan C. Courtney or D, Cameron. Now, believe it or not, it is C, Courtney. She floated away in a balloon and never came back. The last time we've ever seen her was a No Lines uh, episode, the final of Total Drama All Stars. Gwen and Cameron's balloons popped, and Duncan was arrested. Question 8. Which character says this famous line, Never leave a man behind? Was it A. Zoe B. Rick C. Chef Hatchet Or D. Joe Now, Never Leave a Man Behind is said by... Rick, the military army man. He always says that. Question 9. Who was the 19th character in my PowerPoints? The 19th. Was it? A. Alejandro. B. Trent. C. Scott Or D. Heather And Mr. Character 19 is... So this means Heather is not the right answer. This is... Alejandro. Alejandro is the right answer for this one. He was the 19th character in my PowerPoints. And the final question. Question 10. Who were the finalists of Total Drama Action? Was it A. Heather and Alejandro B. Bridget and Jeff C. Duncan and Beth Or D. Ty and Lindsay Tyler and Lindsay So the answer is C, Duncan and Beth. Now, they aren't a couple, but they actually are friends. The delinquent Duncan and Beth, they get along with each other pretty well. All the others are couples. That's it for the Total Drama Pop Quiz. And Chris says, I hope you got the first question of that pop quiz right. Yeah, whatever, Chris, whatever. And thank you guys for watching. What a presentation that was. What a lengthy one too. What a beautiful picture this is of all the island competitors. This is the best picture I've ever seen in my life. This is a wallpaper. My socials.
Follow his socials. I heard he's cool like me. Ugh, whatevs. He doesn't even use social media anyways. Courtney, that's true. But I hate you. I use my socials, but not often. You can follow them if you want. I don't even know why I used 8185 as my last digits for my Instagram. It's just what I came up with when I first started using Instagram back when I was a ninth grader in high school. And that is the ending of our slideshow. Thank you guys for watching. And subscribe the channel, please. As Tyler says, to like this video and subscribe, of course. Tyler, you're my real homie, man. I like that. Oh, wait. One last thing. Comment down below who's your favorite character of Total Drama. Like the entire Total Drama series, honestly. Mainly people like Total Drama Island characters, honestly. But yeah, pretty much. And over here, we got a featured video. A featured video waiting to be impressed by somebody. Okay, then. That's the end of the video. And I'll see you next time.